castle. Gone. Yep, that's it. Charles Bailey says he was in his backyard on the 2000 block of Hope Street when he and his neighbor's homes caught fire Monday. It's pretty much emotional because I got a lot of memories here. You know, I started out here. Yeah, so uh, move on from it, you know. Bailey and his neighbors say the fire started in this home. The fire department says the fire destroyed four units. I was sleeping when it happened. And they were banging on the door and I opened the door and they said everybody get out. Lawrence Giles says nearly everything in his home was destroyed. It's real bad. I feel real bad because I ain't got nowhere to go. So he's going to rely on others, like Shannon Dugray, to get by. This is a sad situation. I mean, Thanksgiving is Thursday, but what, what, are they, what are they to do? It was uh, blazing. I mean, it started from one house and jumped to the next house. You can tell how intense the heat was. It blew the windows out. It started blowing windows out of the homes. The heat melted a car Jimmy Brady was fixing. Just one of my clients called, I fixed calls. The fire department says no one was injured. It took about an hour to bring the flames under control and there were 15 units and 35 firefighters on scene. The cause of the fire is under investigation. The toughest thing I lost, the pictures, like family, I'm one thing that remind me of my mother and my father. Yeah, other than that, I'm straight. But he got me. God got me. You know, I know he got me. Yes, indeed. All of the victims we spoke with say they do not have insurance. And as for where they plan to spend Thanksgiving. Probably to a shelter. Somewhere. I got brothers. I got sisters. I got a little money. Right now, I don't know. I don't know. Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.